Hello everyone. So some people have been asking for some uh, gymnastics rings workouts. So this morning I put one together and I went to the gym, tried it out and recorded it. And I got a nice arm and chest and back pump from this. So you start out with ring pull-ups. You want to set the rings as high up as you can. This was about as high as I could put mine. Uh, so I couldn't extend my legs out. So I had to tuck them under me or do L-sit pull-ups like in the first clip. And you want to do about three sets of five to ten. If you can only do like two or three pull-ups, that's fine. Just do three sets of that and try and add reps every time you do this workout. And after you've done your three sets of pull-ups, you want to do some dips. When you first get on the rings, you're probably going to struggle to balance. And what I found really helped me was keeping my arms locked out as straight as I could and keeping your arms close to your body, like tucked right against your sides. If they go out to the side too much, then you're gonna really struggle to balance. You wanna keep your arms like as vertical as possible, tucked right in close to your body. And that will give you like a stable base for you to do your dips from. And that position is called the ring support hold. And that's like one of the most important positions for ring exercises. You're gonna be doing that a lot. That's like your base state. So I did my three sets of five ring dips. These are so much harder than normal parallel bar dips because you have to balance and you can get I find I can get much deeper. After the dips, then we move on to inverted rows, which are really good for the back, but honestly I find that my biceps tend to be the limiting factor on this movement. Like, I fail a set because my biceps can't do any more or because my grip gives out if I've done grip work before this. So here my feet are on the floor, that's quite an easy variation, but if you put your feet up on a bench, that makes it much harder you've got a bigger range of motion to move through and you're fighting gravity more. And you can elevate your feet even higher if you wanna make it even harder than this, but I am about parallel at the bottom position. So I was doing about 10 to 15 reps or so, so you can do like three sets of maybe five to 20 reps, depending on how many you can do. And with these, I find I can't keep up the same pace of like number of reps each set. So usually I'll do like 15 and then 14. And then I think I did 11 on the last one. And after the inverted rows, you can do ring push-ups. So again, this is quite an easy variation with my feet just on the floor. So I'm quite upright. And if you want to make it harder, you elevate your feet on something so that your body is more parallel to the floor and you're using more upper chest, whereas here I'm using a lot of lower chest because the angle of my arms is kind of pointing downwards relative to my body. And in this clip you can see my arms are more like perpendicular, like straight out ahead of my chest, so I'm using more upper chest and this is much harder than with my feet on the ground. And these are really good because you can get such a deep range of motion, like more than a normal push-up. You can push way beyond like the, the rings, whereas usually the floor would stop you from getting any lower. And then I just finished off with some ring support holds. Uh, you can do like 30 seconds or something. This is really good for just like practicing and extending the duration of time that you can hold this position. I just did like 15 seconds to show you what it looks like. So this is a really basic upper body ring workout that you can do for hypertrophy. You could do maybe five sets if you wanted to make this even harder, five sets for each exercise. I just did uh, three sets. It took me about half an hour to do all of these. And this is in like the perfect rep range for hypertrophy. If you don't have weights, then rings are a really good way to get in an excellent workout. And once you get strong enough, you can start practicing the cool skills like front lever, back lever, ring handstands and that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I will be making more ring workout videos in the future because there's loads of different exercises you can do, different combinations of exercises. So look forward to that. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.